Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Web for Cash video day. My name is Harry. Today is the 22nd of October around 4 p.m. Eastern Times. And today we're going to take a look at General Electric in a, an intraday video. So first I would like to invite you guys all to register to our new seminar that is going to be taking place next week on Friday on the 1st of November. We're going to take a look at the whole market before the U.S. election. Please register it. Uh, no many seats available left. So register it and you will be able to get an idea if what's going to happen and if we really that that fundamental event really, really uh, plays a role, right? So like I say, we're going to take a look today at General Electric. And before we jump into the General Electric chart, I want to remind you guys how a five weeks Adams looks in the Elliott Wave Ferry, right? We got one, two, three, four, five in black. That makes one red, two red after three back. Then another five in black makes three red, three backs in black, makes a four, and then a five. After five, we're going to see a big pullback to correct this whole cycle. It's something that repeats itself, right? Five weeks, three back is the same of five weeks in red, three backs. When five weeks in black happen here, I create one red and correct and becomes two red. When five waves in blue and red happen here, I create one blue and correct and three red. That's the repetition of the Elio wave theory. At this moment, General Electric is part of the whole market, right? And I believe, honestly, that General Electric is, has created a very, very, very big law, which can take the, uh, the symbol into higher levels around even the 500 area. But we won't get there uh, tomorrow, right? It's going to be a process of up and downs, up and downs. And we believe that still within the grand super cycle, is at the beginning of the wave three within the grand super cycle. And that right now we are <coughs> at the sorry at the end of the first lead of one in red, the one in red within that cycle. So we believe that we're finishing wave three from May first uh, of 2020, that the wave three might have ended or no. And that within the next week or so, we might see the deepest pullback since this low on August of 2022. So let's downgrade this cycle now. We know where we're going. This is one in blue, two in blue after seven swing. And we should be heading higher to break those highs in the foreseeable in, in the future, but no now, right? So Let's downgrade from the grand super cycle to the cycle degree. And this is the same mate 11 here. What do we have? One, two, one, two, one, two. Three set of wave one, that's called a nest. An acceleration higher. And now we have three, four in red, three, four in blue. And now the question mark is, does this cycle from August the 5th of this year already ended or we're going to get new high and lower or already the wave 3 is in place here? Possibility, yes. Too early to call, as we sometimes say, right? Too early to call. So let's, in any ways, whatever peak is created here, it shouldn't be the end of this cycle. We believe that it's going to do a pullback, retreat, and then higher. This is the weekly bar. And one of the reasons why we know that is because when we use the stochastic RSI, we can see that from here, we can see one, two, one, two, the snake, the four, the four, and the five. In other words, we can see an snake created here. If we go to the monthly chart, you can see just from this law, the clearest oscillation. 
you got one, two, and the snake of the powerful wave three. The stochastic needs to reset and react higher before the cycle ends. So again, we were here and we can see from the lows of 2020, the one and the two in black, we can see from here the rest cycle one, two, three, four, five, that finished three, four, that goes with the one, two. So eventually now, everything needs to zoom in to this area, the cycle from August the 5th. We're gonna downgrade it here to the four hour. And then we see August the 5th and we see one, two, one, two, and this is a question mark. And the reason why I say it's a question mark, because if it's gonna be a triangle, then wave four ends over here as A, B, C, D, E. And then now G, General Electric is right here in a wave four in red. But if it is not a triangle, there is a slight possibility that the cycle ended and then it goes over here. At this stage, is 50-50, to be honest with you guys. We know that what is coming next, and what is coming next is the biggest pullback saying the lows of July 2022. The question is, as far as they stay about 160.47, GE can make a marginal new high and lower. And we believe that the market, it will let us know very soon in the next pullback, you're going to do this or the market is going to do a marginal new high and lower. But no question, General Electric at this stage is a risk. And I can call it completed and the minimum amount of oscillations are in place when I can call this from August the 5th, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a 5. And then in that case, we're going to see a decline that it should take General Electric to at least the 23.6 a retracement of the wave three. And that level, it comes right here. Usually the wave a four retreat, 23.6 or 38 or two of the advance of the wave three. So that area should be right here between 157, 134, it should be seen if the highs are in place. So too early to core, it's possible that we're heading into that area already. And right here, as far as about below 160, yeah, we're gonna go all the way to this area of 157, 134, as far as it is about this level, and doesn't deny the continuation, it still can make a one, a, it still can make new highs and do something like it is over here, makes a marginal new high and lower. So very interesting by technical a trade right here. At this stage, it's better to be on the sideline waiting for the deep pullback and the oscillation should follow like this. Like it's reflected here, the moment that the wave three in place should correct to these areas of 23, 36, 38 or two of these related to the peak, then new highs, and then general electric down the road, it should do another pullback like this before explode to the outside. So like I say, a very technical well-defined trade we should be ended or ending wave three in black. And soon we should be heading into a big pullback, the biggest over the last two years, and another buying opportunity to come. That's how we see the market in Elio Wave for gas. We always analyze the market this way. We go deep, we look at every single time frame and provide members with those beautiful blue boxes, which are nothing more than high frequency trader <clears throat> that allow traders to enter the market at the right levels. 
So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys to see you around, either taking the 14-day trial or at the seminar on November the 1st. Have a good day, everyone.